the queen gives birth to a baby boy under the watchful eyes of her ministers and ladies. This is the first time she has smiled in decades of being queen. Meanwhile, the maid also delivers her baby in the basement. With the birth of the two boys, the king's funeral begins. In contrast to the gloomy mourners and neighboring monarchs, the queen cradles her son with joy. She wouldn't even look up at her husband, who had died for her. Sixteen years have passed since then. The queen's son, Elias, has grown into a pale, white-haired boy under her thumb. Rebellious, he wants to be free from his mother's control. So Elias takes his controlling mother to play hide-and-seek in the labyrinth. The only reason he does this is to secretly meet the maid's son, Jonah. The two of them share the same peculiar appearance and have formed a strong bond due to the influence of the sea monster. While Elias is out of sight of the manipulative queen, Jonah takes him over the wall to escape from the palace. When the queen notices that Elias is missing, she becomes more anxious than ever. As she quickly ascends to the highest point of the castle, she catches sight of the two boys riding away on horseback. 